Hello and welcome my Gemini friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be a general angel reading for my friends born under the Gemini zodiac sign. Today we're going to explore the messages that the angels have for you and what guidance they're offering for you. The deck I'm going to be using for this reading is the Angel Tarot. It's a beautiful deck created by uh, Jane Wallace. Then after the reading, I'm going to end it all off with a blessing from the Angel Inspiration deck created by Kim Dreyer. I will have links below to both these fabulous decks, so if they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourself. All right, my Gemini friends, let's see what the angels have to say for you. What guidance do my angels have? my Gemini friends. Okay. The first card. Four of Pentacles. Beautiful card. Four is all about stability and structure. Pentacles are about growth and abundance. Underneath here, Jane put control. Four is a very stable number. It talks about that growth that we need and the control we need to have when we are allowing ourselves to grow. It's very easy to get stuck in the small little box our ego creates for us. However, when you're looking at going forward, you need to allow yourself to kind of expand that box. The angels are very clear. It's something that needs to happen, allowing that that box to expand. It shouldn't keep you tiny and shriveled inside. You should be able to spread your wings and really, really make a difference for yourself and others. Sorry, almost dropped that. Okay, the King of Cups. Kings have the most developed and refined personality of the suit. They have the most power and the most responsibilities of the suit. They gain their knowledge through the use of their suit. Cups are about emotion and intuition. The King of Cups is all about that control. Underneath here, it says commitment. So, these two cards are very important. Here the angels want you to expand that horizon. Really allow yourself to flourish. This is going to take a lot of commitment and control in your world. We have control here, we've got the king, and we have commitment. All of these are going to play into this growth that you're going to have. The angels want to guide you forward. He knows how to go forward. He has all the control. He doesn't allow his emotions to override him. His world and his people are taken care of. He controls the seas. He controls his intuition. He can control his emotions. The ego likes to play havoc on us when we step outside our box. It pretends it's scary. We can't do it. And that fear is harnessed and released. This is where the King of Cups is going to come in. He's going to be able to help you control that fear, that anxiety about stepping out and doing something that you may not have done in the past. It's a necessary growth. You will really appreciate it once you've done the little bit of like work you need to. This is a necessary growth for you, for you to be able to go forward. There is going to be some like work that you'll have to do. There will be a bit of work. However, the work will be well rewarded. So he can help control that fear and anxiety that the ego is going to, to come up with. The Ten of Pentacles. Ten is a completion a manif or in the final manifestation and yet a new beginning. And that's where we're at is that kind of that new beginning stage of growth, but also for abundance. 
down here it says support. You have great support in this little venture of kind of widening your space, allowing your wings to, to get going. This support will come through not only with the people around you, but your angels, they're right beside you. They've never left. They've always been beside and behind you, guiding and supporting you throughout this whole journey that you've taken so far. All that you've done to this point, they've been with you and they will continue to be with you. They know that as you allow yourself to grow and expand your horizons and kind of allow that transition to happen, you're going to have that abundance piece that you need. Angels don't have to worry about covering costs of food, housing, the life that we have. However, they know that it's there and that that we do need that financial support because we're not alone in this. Many of us have other people that rely on us, other beings that rely on us, and we have to be able to feed them and, and shelter them. The final card, Two of Wands. This four is to expand our wings, and this is why. The Two of Wands, down here it says progress. Two is about duality, about that union that allows you to grow. These wands are all about passion and creativity. The reason you want to expand that box that we, we reside in and allow your horizons to grow is that you will allow your passions to grow. You will connect in more deeply with your higher self and your angels because you're allowing yourself that deeper relationship with you and them. This growth will allow that. Through stability, control, and groundedness, you're going to be able to expand yourself, expand your intuitional self, that piece of you that connects in with the higher realm. The angels are being very clear that that is something that is very important for you, Gemini, is that you need to connect in more with them. And when you do, that's when these two cards are really going to ignite. And they will be supporting you with this. Helping you with that control of your emotions because, like I said, your ego is going to really run rampant with this. It doesn't like it when we step outside our box. For your ego or your lower self, it's scary. Your higher self is screaming, bring it on. Your lower self, not so much. So let's find out what your shadow self wants to share. And that's the Eight of Wands. So between the angels and your shadow self, it's very clear that you're going to need to go on this journey. Eights are all about that manifestation and movement. Here it says journeys. You need to connect in more with that shadow self and that's going to help he that's been dictated here and it will help this piece expand. Because your shadow self is regularly talking with your higher self and the guides and your angels because it's not being attacked by your ego. So for you this is going to be a, a very passionate and inner fire fueling journey. You have lots of light here to take you into that deeper space, to allow you to expand and, and grow by going into that darkness and shedding light on that inner self that you've hidden away. Okay, let's see what the blessing we have from the angels for my Gemini friends. Oh, caught that one. <laughs> we had a jumper. Seek within. There's your inner light. There's your, your hidden self. And the journey you need to take. Not only do you have the blessings of your angels, but they're going to be there every step of the way, making sure that that path is lit 
and that you don't feel alone and it doesn't get scary. The king is right beside you as well, helping you control that fear, bringing up the, the, the good feelings, the feelings that will make you want to go forward. For those who wish, you can pause the video and reflect on the cards here. This is a group reading, however, the cards were drawn for my Gemini friends. You were drawn to watch this video. What are the cards saying to you? Everyone has intuition and act, can access guidance through cards. What further information do they want to share with you? I hope that you found this video helpful and that you were able to gain more insight into what the angels want to share with you. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I will continue to create new and exciting videos for my Zodiac friends. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. I'm always up for feedback and ideas, especially from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. Also, if you like this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. I've provided a helpful link below. Until tomorrow, my Gemini friends.